With Arizona's junior senator insisting his state's crime rate is worse than it actually is, and Arizona's senior senator insisting his state's border problems are all the president's fault, and our number one story, it falls upon one, Stephanie Germanata, formerly of Manhattan's Upper West Side, to emerge as a voice of reason in Arizona's immigration hysteria. That's Lady Gaga for those of you playing at home, or even if you're alone. But first, worried that the Constitution serves as a, quote, reward for undocumented workers, Senate Minority Whip John Kyle says he wants to hold hearings on whether to deny citizenship to the American-born children of illegal immigrants, despite what the Constitution says about that. Mr. Kyle still also peddling the myth that crime is the, quote, greatest threat posed by illegal immigrants. In some of these border towns that were thought to be susceptible to uh, law-breaking of illegal immigrants, the crime is actually down. Crime in Phoenix, for instance, is down significantly over the last couple of years. Well, that's, that's a, a gross generalization. Property crimes are up. Certain violent crimes on certain parts of the citizenry are up. Mm -hmm. Phoenix is, the, uh, is a very large source of kidnapping. It's called the kidnapping capital of the United States. So there's a great deal of violence and crime associated mm -hmm. with the presence of illegal immigrants. Except there isn't. According to the FBI, crime committed by undocumented workers in Arizona has dropped. The state's overall crime rate also decreased by 12 percent last year. As for Kyle's claim that Arizona is second to Mexico City in kidnappings, PolitiFact lists that, lists that as false. The FBI and Interpol are unable to substantiate the claim. As for Arizona's senior senator, the guy who was for amnesty before he had a tough primary on his hands, he has a new political ad out blaming the president for border problems. Meanwhile, speaking on behalf of the sane... Lady Gaga, the pop star, refused to cancel her own concert in Phoenix over the weekend, even after receiving pressure from fellow musicians. I got a phone call from a couple really big rock and rollers. We'd like you to boycott Arizona. And I said, do you really think that us dumb pop stars are going to collapse the economy of Arizona? I'll tell you what we have to do. We have to be active. We will peaceably protest this state. Because if it wasn't for all of you immigrants, this country wouldn't have she said something about the Bay City Rollers. Uh, joining me now, Congressman Raul Grijalva, the Democrat of Arizona. Congressman, thanks again for some of your time tonight. Thank you, Keith. Appreciate it. The message from Lady Gaga is a little uh, blunt. But uh, do you think she's pretty much nailed this? Well, yeah, I, I think uh, part of the issue is that, uh, and, and we've asked for that, that, that musicians uh, uh, and concerts return to, to Arizona because we have to help uh, galvanize opposition to this. Mm -hmm. And if I thought that Brewer and McC Kyle and McCain would respond to economic pressure, I would tell them not to. But the reality is that they, they don't care. And, uh, and so maybe the strategy is now to utilize the, the, the constituencies that uh, big musicians have to mm -hmm. help us uh, change the politics on the ground. Uh, practically speaking, Mr. Kyle and, and Senate Republicans can't hold Judiciary Committee hearings without the approval of uh, the Democratic Chair, Senator Leahy. But is, is this the next set of immigration talking points for the GOP dangling this prospect of repealing the 14th Amendment? Yeah, I find it so ironic. Yeah. Uh, you know, Arizona's the Petri dish. They're going to try everything here. And if people don't understand that after 1070, they should better. Uh, so we found that 1070 and the preliminary injunction violates the Constitution. Senator Kyle is saying, that's okay. Let me, let's violate the Constitution one more time by, by uh, violating the 14th Amendment. I find it so interesting that strict constitutionalists, whether it's Kyle, McCain, Brewer, the Tea Party, find that the Constitution can be malleable if it fits their ends. It's, you're either for the Constitution that you swore to uphold or you're not. And uh, it, it's, poli it's politics. Mm -hmm. It's useful, destructive politics that they're using, and they have to continue to use that till the midterms. Uh, crime has dropped in every category, and to say that crime numbers have risen, as Mr. Kyle did in that sound clip that we played of him, isn't that... A, a gross generalization to say nothing of uh, making Arizona look more dangerous than it is. It's a it's a lie. And, and any any uh, things I ask for in terms of economic sanctions or anything else pales 
compared to them talking about beheadings, mm-hmm. uh, kidnappings, death. Anytime you walk on a street in Arizona, they've caused more to depress the economy in our state than anybody else. Uh, and, and it's a lie. Yeah. It's a lie. Well, where is the where is the Democratic pushback in this? Why aren't more people calling out Mr. Kyle and Governor Brewer, who was the first one who brought up this beheading thing, and then they, they walked it back? Well, we didn't mean people in the Arizona desert were being beheaded, and we don't really know where they are. But we've heard these stories. I mean, other than 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 letting these people stew in their own in their own falsehood, as as Mr. Kyle should be today. Where where is everybody pushing back on this? You know, and, and that's the problem. You know, you kind of feel isolated. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, here in Arizona, you question them. Uh, nobody else jumps in, particularly the Democrats. And, and because of the timidity and the fear that this could affect an election, I'm not telling people to agree with me in my position. Mm-hmm. I'm being, let's be consistent on the facts. And the facts tell us that Kyle, McCain, Brewer, in terms of violence and crime at the border, are not telling the voters the truth. It's good for campaign material. It's good for Senator McCain. How does it translate to actual policy for Arizonans? It, it, uh, I, I think it's to their advantage to keep the system broken mm. so that nothing is done. They can continue to use immigration all the way through the midterms as a, as a wedge issue that divides and makes this whole conversation about immigration ugly and right. us against them, and it works to their favor. Those of us that would like a dialogue, a conversation, a compromise, are kind of left out in the cold. Yep. One, scare people. Two, do nothing to fix it. Three, tell people whose fault it is. Uh, Congressman Raul Grijalva of Arizona, as always, a pleasure, sir. Thank you. Thank you.